So this vlog is uh, just about to drive home. So I just went over a grid. Uh, that is is part of the dog fence, um, which is you know this amazing, amazing fence that uh, like the Telstra ads, it kind of helps keep the rabbits out or um, or yeah the dingoes. Um, it crisscrosses this whole whole region. Uh, even even goes alongside my farm, um, my parents' farm, and uh, yeah, it, it seeks to contain the dingoes coming out of forestry. Didn't really work so well this year, um, simply because of the, the dry and the, the massive problem that we had uh, with the, the food supply and water supply for, for dingoes and other vermin um, drying up in the forestry. And then they're coming out onto the farms to, to obviously get a bit of feed and a drink. Uh, yeah, so crisscross grids, it's one hill, <laughs> it's one hill the entire drive, um, other than Toowoomba of course, which is the one the escarpment, but yeah, from the coast all the way back out in front there's only one hill, and uh, you know, as you can see when you go up, up the crest and down and, and look down, the road just goes on forever, it's just a straight road, that, that doesn't, that doesn't have any bends in it. And that takes me straight west, straight, straight to home. Um, and it's terrific. Once you cross that hill, it's it's all good from there. It's just going, um, you just cruise, and it's great. And admittedly, when whenever I am tired doing these these six or five hour drives, um, depending on where I'm coming from, yeah, that's it's the danger zone, and that's that's pretty much so where you where the, the problem of um, these guys come into play. As you can see, the um, the road is very, very rough, very rough. And uh, yeah, when you're all you're all over the place, especially when it's windy or whatever. And then the trucks are all over the place when they're tired. You're tired, and it does mean does often meet with disaster. Um, and yeah, on this road, I've, I've lost control of my you back when I was uh, 20, I think it was, 2021, and um, they almost met my end, uh, completely destroyed my ute, um, smashed it to smithereens and friend it um, over about 100 metres, the, the crash site was, just a simple vehicle, um, yeah, the truck came down the road, I got off the road to allow the truck to, 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 to keep going on his merry way, and um, yeah, the only problem is that uh, when I got on, on the loose gravel on the camber of the stick cam of the road and come back on, yeah, I didn't, didn't have my senses with me and uh, late at night, very late at night, and um, I was very tired and uh, I didn't do the best job of averting an accident as I probably should have. These things happen. Which is a long drive. And, um, I just wish that I had an aeroplane. <laughs> that would make life easy. I've got the aviator glasses. <laughs> I've got the aviator glasses. All I need is a bloody jet fuel and then an aeroplane to put it in, and uh, I'd be set. Somehow, I think, uh, if at all a long way off, it's certainly a long way off um, ever owning an aeroplane. But it's the way to go, isn't it? I mean, you can you can chop a six-hour drive into a couple of hours on a light aircraft. Funny thing though is it's not really funny, it's quite, it's quite um, terrifying, but Barnaby Joyce, our, our great senator from, from out here, uh, I just saw in the paper as I stopped to get some fuel, um, his plane almost crashed, so yeah, light aircraft, they get you around very quickly, but there's dangers, but hey, as I was just saying, there's dangers on the road, a lot of dangers on the road. Another funny thing that I'd like you to see is, uh, is floodways. There's one. And the, and the, why I say it's a funny thing to see is because, of course, in the last three years, it's been kind of a joke, you know, why not, you know, have a floodway sign when there's no chance of a flood, but hopefully there'll be some floods coming back soon and things will be fine and handy. But this is um, driving out here now, it's the greenest it has been for three years and um, 
And then look, some of the uh, the hollows uh, the ditches, there is there is still water from the rain that we had, those big floods that Noosa and Northern New South Wales got, and, and we, we got three inches of that. It's the greenest it's ever looked at, it looks tremendous. But of course, with that comes the downside is that, that our stock is so used to eating dry food and supplements uh, that their bellies aren't used to eating all the grain and um, they get bloat and, and uh, other issues and, and there are so many people losing a lot of stock, they're just not prepared for it and of course they don't have the, the staff to, to, to now deal with, with running around and saving stock and, um, and, and uh, puncturing the, the, uh, the guts of these animals with bloat and, and checking out just the animal health. Uh, because you know you need, do need a four-wheeler to get around or a horse to get around and of course as you all know that we can't meet horses a lot of lot of issues so it's, it's one of those bloody buggers of farm and you, you pray for years to get rain the rain finally comes and, um, and you still lose more stock because of more issues that's that's the nature of farming it's just a big, big jolly gamble and it's, it's fun I try to make it more fun by adding in these massive drives to get my product to market. And I absolutely, absolutely love it. Whoa! If I can stay on the road, that is. Um, well, I'll let you go, and I'll keep driving, and um, keep talking to myself. <laughs>